Hi and welcome to the last part of Q12 2020 number two uh, when the four gentlemen you see on your screens there Gavin Tillman, Steve Lacey, Michael McPartland and Paul Sinner are competing for a place in the £500 final which will take place in September, the last Saturday of uh, this year 2020 at the Spread Eagle Pub in Darrington against 11 other players uh, already qualified in Oliver Levy. So uh, uh, the rules are fairly simple on this. It's just like a 15 to 1 uh, grand final. Uh, each question is worth one point, and the first person to get 12 questions right, the first person to 12 points, will qualify for the final. There are no points penalties, but if a player gets a question wrong and it's an interruption, they will lose a life, and each player has three lives, and then they're cut from this particular little final. So good luck, gentlemen. Uh, Enjoy the, enjoy, join in uh, and watch and tick and like and do the things you do. I don't know. The last question was uh, Leopold was the father of which man? And the answer was Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Okay, so there's a connection, there'll be a thread running through these. Because I've written these questions, the threads might be extraordinarily tenuous. But Let's see how it goes. Good luck, everybody. Paul, Michael, Gavin, Steve. It's an honour to ask you four guys questions. I want the name or nickname of a town in Yorkshire which, despite his surname, was not the home of Lorenzo the librettist, who developed a long association with Mozart. Buzz. Paul? Pontifract. Yeah. Lorenzo the Ponte, Pontefract. According to the BBC, which three ingredients in equal portions are used to make Yorkshire puddings? Go on then, Steve. Uh, milk, butter and flour. Yeah, Michael? Eggs, butter and flour. No. Paul Sinner? Egg, milk and flour. Correct. When flour is packaged, with added baking soda and salt. How, how is it? Oh, Gavin. Self-raising. Self-raising. How is it generally labelled? It's self-raising. Gavin, you're on the board. Fifty-four of what were achieved in one minute by Boris Nalbantov in Sofia, Bulgaria, on the 17th of June, 2017. Frank Sagona of the United States set records for eight and 12 hours on his way to performing 5,094 uh, in 24 hours in Pueblo, Colorado, USA on the 22nd of October, 2016. End of question. Michael McPartland. Keep you up, please. Not keep you up, please. Uh, Paul Sinha. Press ups. Not press ups. Three, two, one. Chin-ups or pull-ups, simple as that. And the connection here is 5094. There are two questions about 5094 and this is the second of them. Not John Barrowman. The 5094 award for Rear of the Year was awarded to Jack Harkness, also known as Javik Piotr Thane, in which TV programme? Oh, Michael, go on. Miranda. No? Um, anybody else want to go? It's Doctor Who. Okay, which programme has yielded the most female Rear of the Year awards, 2011 and 2014, resulting in the first double winner and her replacement being honoured in 2017? Go on, Michael. Countdown. Yeah, countdown. Oh, just better say that as well. <laughs> if the words do... D-O, and now, N-O-W, were extracted from the word countdown, which English king's name could be formed? Buzz. Go on, Paul. Knut. Okay, it's, it's open. Uh, when the question's finished, you've got a freebie. Give any year in the reign of Knut the Great. Buzz. Uh, yeah. Michael McPartland was first. 2005. No. Uh, Paul? 10 to 17. Yeah, he started in 10 to 16.
H four. It absolutely well played. Go on. Really, really, that is the answer of the day. I think. Who designed the H four, the first Sea Watch built in the? Oh, yeah, Buzz. Okay, go on, Gavin. Harrison. Yes. Very good. I don't even know what that is. What 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 is that? A uh, chronometer. Uh, marine, oh, marine okay. Dude. And it fills in horses. Found in Del Boyne <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wood's loft. Yeah. Okay. Which company, created in July 1999 by the merger from Tarmac and central to the HS2 rail project, lost 90% of its share price in the last half of 2017? Can you say it again, Steve? Sorry. Yeah. A company created July 1999. Steve's buzzed, I think. Yes, Steve has buzzed. Uh, Crossrail? Not Crossrail, but no, no loss. Uh, Demerged from Tarmac and central to the HS2 rail project, lost 90% of its share price in the last... Buzz. Go on then, Gavin. Is it Carillion? It is Carillion, and you are on a magnificent four points. Superb. Thank you. Uh, Paul, you're on five, Michael's on one, Steve is on zero. Carillion, stretcher coming up. Reaching number two in 1985, what was the biggest hit for Marillion in the UK? Buzz. Buzz. First was Steve Lacey. Kaylee. He's correct. You're off the mark. Well done. Cheers. Now you see me. <laughs> it's a post edit thing. Kaylee. Steve, you're on one point. Which progressive reel performed by groups of six dancers, most popular lyric by Sir Hugh Robinson is, now the fiddler's ready, let us all begin, let us step it out and step it into the merry music of the violin, we'll dance it at night away. Buzz. Go on, Paul. Gay Gordons. No, I'm lucky. <laughs> Anybody? When I tell you, you'll know the name. It's the Dashing White Sergeant. Nope. Ailsa would have been... He was a, on Strictly, wasn't he? He's a Scottish thing. He's a Cayley dancing, really. Nothing like the Cayleys we get in this country. Paddy O'Brien, played by Terry Scott. Matthews, played by John Matthews. Russell, by Ed Devereaux. And Grimshaw, played by William Hartnell, were all sergeants. Buzz. Go on, Paul. Carry on. And well, the not, of yeah. which film franchise? <laughs> Absolutely correct. Lovely answer. Nice. You're halfway there. A very late buzz there from uh, somebody else. Thanks, Brendan, for keeping track of us here. How many point down chevrons in the identify a sergeant in the United buzz. The Steve Lacey was first, I'm afraid. Gav? No worries. No, go on. Three. Three is correct. Nice one, Steve. Cheers. I must have checked that back in the day. I wrote these questions. Well, this is a question. But I think it it's played, applies to the army and to the police force. So. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so uh, that was three. What was the LA Rams... 2018 regular season record under 30 year old head coach Sean McVay. Coincidentally, the score of the lowest scoring subsequent Super Bowl final in which they were defeated by New England. Buzz. Go on, Paul. 9 3. Unlucky. Steve Lacey. 7 3. Unlucky. I'm going to say you're lucky to everything, whether you're unlucky or not. Michael McPartland to everyone. Nine six. Unlucky. Go on. Buzz. Go on, Gav. Thirteen three. Is the correct answer. Oh. Thirteen three. Yeah. Well, it's obviously quite a winning. Very good. They had, but. Uh, Thank you. An atom each of which two element elements combined with four of hydrogen to form a reactive inorganic hydride discovered by Finn Holtbond and Schleisinger in 1947. Third and thirteenth elements of the periodic table. Buzz. Go on, Gav. Lithium and aluminium. Very good. 
You are now drawing at the halfway point with Paul on six apiece. Superb answer. Thank you. It's a science man. Uh, which 1991 album featured the tracks in Bloom, Breed, Come As You Are, and Lithium? Buzz. Paul? Uh, smells Like Teen Spirit. Oh. God. No. Uh, that's A Life Lost. And opens with, oh, sorry, Steve Lacey. These are all live. Never mind. Uh, yeah, but what's the answer? Never mind comforting Paul and his terrible loss of a... Yes, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. One for Steve. Paul, you have got an X. Didn't lose a point though, did I? A life. You didn't lose a point, you lost a life. You've got right, two more okay. lives left. You've got to crack a few eggs. And opens with smells like the teen spirit. Yeah. Other than... Nirvana's Nevermind at number 17. What album at 41 in the Rolling Stone 500 Greatest Albums of All Time list is adjacent alphabetically by title? Steve Lacey. Nevermind the bollocks. Absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah, good. Which brewery in Whitney, Oxfordshire, England, owned by Marston's, makes beer such as Scarecrow, The Dog Bollocks, and Hobgoblin? Buzz. Go on, Paul. Uh, Witchwood? Yep. Witchwood. Well played. Well played. Couldn't come to uh, mind. Michael McPartland was instantaneous. In fact, I thought he was first until I looked just above him. First on mine, but alas. I'm sure Brendan's keeping his uh, eyes on this. Thanks, Brendan. You can't see me. Ah, <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> uh, the last answer was Witchwood. Schwarzwald. Buzz. Go on, Paul. Black Forest. German name for Witchwood. Black Forest. Yep. You're all over it. Uh, you're on eight, Paul. The town of Donaschingen in the Black Forest at the confluence of the rivers of Brigach and Breg is about 2,850 kilometers from Salina, the easternmost city in Romania, via which waterway? Buzz. Obviously, Paul. Uh, the Danube. Yep, I shouldn't have said obviously, I know, but you were going to say Danube anyway. You weren't going to say the Orwell, were you? Nine. Okay. Christian name, surname, and number required. Who composed and the Schoen and Blauen Downo Opus 314, also known as By the Beautiful Blue Danube? <sighs> Oh, Buzz. Yeah, go on. It's a freebie. It's a freebie, isn't it? Johann Strauss II. It was Johann Strauss II. I have got three vacant spots left on my spreadsheet for you, Paul. You're on ten at the moment. So, yeah, you can only have three spots. You can eat, if you zip out to ice. Well, whatever. Next. Johann Strauss II. Which Greek capital letter is most similar to the German grapheme called Ezret? Oh. Go on, Gavin. Beta. Yes, the Ezret is uh, at, at the end of Strauss. That's Playing superbly, Gavin. Thank you. Yeah, what, I've given you seven. What am I on nine? You're on ten. ten. Oh. ten. Uh, that was uh, Beta. Which company developed the Betamax video system? Buzz. Buzz. Michael McPartland. Sorry. I had one of those. 
What name was applied to the, the, to the TPS L2 and its successors that went on sale in Japan on July the 1st, 1979? Buzz. Go on then, Paul. Walkman. Yep, yep, yep. <sighs> so is it a done deal, Paul? Not, not, not at all, the way Gavin's playing. Well, let's see what happens here. Females are titled witch and males entitled titled dirge when they've completed which 40 mile hike between Osmotherly and Ravenscar over the North York Moors in less than 24 hours. Michael, is that you? Yeah, uh, the Lightweight Walk. Lightweight Walk is kind of your parish, isn't it? You ever done it? Which Tanzanian came first when John Walker ran second? Buzz. The... Go on then. Philbert Boy. When John Walker ran second in the 1500 metre run at the 1974 Commonwealth Games, in what would have been a world record time, bar said winner, the race also recorded the fourth, fifth, and seventh fastest performances ever. What a race! Phil, but by it, yeah, thanks for giving him a round of applause. Let's give him a proper one. Yeah, well done, mate. Yeah, well played. Thank Lee, you. were you watching uh, some of those and I yeah. thought you would have been all over short. That's a damn pub. Definitely. Just like that. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. That's fantastic. What do you think? What's it like watching it? Yeah, it's compelling stuff. Yeah. Good. Stating it on. And again, a hell of a, a hell of a performance, Gavin. That was really good. No, Absolutely. Nothing away from Absolutely. Before. Well done, Gavin. I have Brilliant to say that none of your answers I had a well, I would have got an aluminium eventually, but the speed on Element 13 was superb. Yeah. And there was, there was nothing where I just thought, oh, he's beating me to it. Those are just great answers. Yeah. Great answers. Brendan. Well played. I hope you like the, Brendan, I hope you like the way I bought it back to Sashi Tendulkar with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very quickly indeed. I mean, I must admit, with the last question, I can't think of a single other famous Tanzanian athlete at all. So. Yeah. It doesn't have that. that He's yeah. your go-to oh, Tasmanian 1500 metre runner. But, but yeah. you know, with no others, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, we've got to have a we've got to have a Filbert Street as the connection there for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> so the first married couple to be one and two into the final, well, Steve. There you go. Bloody yeah. hell. I I would I would have enjoyed you to struggle for three or four hours, Paul. Just to <laughs> do it. That's. Yeah, um, it's, it's interesting. I just, I mean, I, I was less tired last week, but that I just had that disastrous round. Yeah, round week. two, it is the killer. But the one it's I was the... really pleased about was HG Wells because oh yeah, li- okay. I've been sitting on the fact that he he uh, founded Diabetes UK for a while. I certainly didn't expect it to go in the first two uh, on that one. That's a great answer. Well, I think the thing about diabetes, Steve, is that it's it's not been around it's not been around and understood for that long. So yeah. if H. G. Wells had diabetes, he would have been one of the very few famous people to have had diabetes at the time. So I just thought it was worth it was worth the risk. But uh, yeah, really, really, really good questions. Really, I really like yeah. the format. Can I can I just do a tail end to this? Another fantastic a uh, round to Q twelve. It's a devastatingly edgy competition I find asking these questions it really gets our old heart going but another great performance I thought uh, Gavin was outstanding in the final today but especially Paul Sinner if you want to participate in this we're doing it during lockdown or during 2020 at 6 o'clock every Friday so if you turn up about half 5 if you type in Q12 or Steve Kidd or Quiz or uh, whatever you like you'll, you, you'll probably be able to find us but uh, if you have watched it, thank you very much. If you've played, even more thanks for very much. And uh, see you next week. Yeah. Well played, Paul. Thank you. Well played, Paul.